I mentioned that I keep my cryptocurrency on a wallet on my phone. However, this isn't the only option when it comes to cryptocurrency wallets. So actually several types of cryptocurrency wallets that kind of have different functions and have things that they prioritize over other things. So different wallets support different tokens. Some wallets only support one token. Uh, the majority of wallets are now getting to a point where they can store multiple cryptocurrencies. So a couple, there's kind of a dichotomy that's being introduced when it comes to cryptocurrency wallets. And it's spending versus saving or transactability versus security. Some wallets prioritize ease of use for your everyday spending. Some wallets prioritize security. You might not even be able to directly transact from that wallet, but it is the most secure way to store your cryptocurrency. So you sacrifice transactability for security. Let's get into the specific types of cryptocurrency wallets. And to do that, I'm gonna look at some actual examples. Hardware wallets are physical devices. Here are a couple different ones. These are physical devices that essentially keep your private keys from ever touching the internet and effectively makes it so your coins are taken offline. Basically, nobody can manage them because that uh, private key never touches the internet. These are one of the most secure options for storing cryptocurrency. The hard part, though, is spending cryptocurrency from these wallets. You might have to actually transfer the funds to another wallet uh, in order to spend it. So hardware wallets, great tools when it comes to security. Transactability, not so much, but that's not their goal. So the first type of wallet that we're going to look into are hardware wallets. And as you can see, they're physical devices. Each one's a little bit different. Some keep different tokens. Um, some just have different functions, different features. What they all have in common is they keep your private keys from touching the internet. So basically, your funds cannot be compromised. These aren't necessarily hardware wallets, but they are physical devices. What they do, these are seed brace keepers. Uh, this one allows you to put certain letters uh, in certain places. So you keep your seed phrase in there, keeps it safe, can't burn up, can't, uh, can't be worn off over time. This one you actually engrave your seed phrase into. Keep that in a safe place, don't lose it, you'll be able to restore your cryptocurrency. This is actually a newer innovation, first one that I've seen like this. It's a bill that essentially is loaded with credits or cryptocurrency. There's a little chip right here. And all you have to do is swipe at a point of sale. Your cryptocurrency is exchanged. Have it, you put it in your pocket, just like a dollar bill. Software wallets. Uh, it's actually what I described on my phone, and it doesn't have to be restricted to a phone. Uh, software wallets are uh, often downloadable via desktop, PC, uh, on your computer. So software wallets are often free, uh, open source software, and it's great for transactability and everyday spending. Web wallets, kind of like software wallets, except instead of downloading software, you are accessing cryptocurrency wallet via the web. Uh, there are a couple downsides to this. Um, security is definitely an issue. Transactability, pretty easy, but that security poses a couple problems. Let's say that people have probably heard of the term phishing. What phishing is, is somebody creates a clone of a web page that kind of looks like uh, the web page they are trying to deceive you and to think you, you are on. Uh, there might be a login and password field. So people think they're logging into uh, a reputable website. Instead, somebody is just logging their data, taking it to the real website, and then accessing their account. Uh, this is called phishing again. Um, a good way to defend against phishing, make sure you get your URLs correct. Um, there are also specific extensions and programs that can possibly point out uh, if they think you're on a phishing site. Those are extremely helpful as well. I always just double and triple check my URL when I'm going to a web wallet. And the best way to keep your cryptocurrency secure is paper wallet. And what this does, it effectively takes your funds offline. You have this piece of paper. 
It's exactly what it sounds like. It has a deposit mechanism, there's your address, and a withdrawal mechanism, there's your private key. And it is the ultimate when it comes to blockchain security and keeping your cryptocurrency secure because there's no online mechanism for somebody to attack. 